If you want better, faster, more stable internet connection, don't worry, this isn't deja vu. It is the same topic as yesterday. <laughs> then you're going to want to watch this video uh, for a slight update. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. And in this video, we are talking once again about Speedify, which we did cover yesterday. And I covered it in quite some depth uh, because it is a great app. And Speedify, what that does is it basically lets you combine all of your different internet connections and then harness the power of them all together, but also provides a fail safe so that if one of them fails, it just seamlessly switches over to uh, the other one, which is great if you are a live streamer if you talk on the phone, <laughs> on FaceTime, if you use Zoom, Skype, or any other VoIP products, Microsoft Teams, whatever it is, uh, or if you just don't want your, frankly, internet to go down and maybe you're in the middle of a Netflix movie, something like that, Speedify can help with that. Now, I did do a video all about this yesterday, and so I'll leave a link up into the top corner, but somebody asked me a question and I realized I had missed out a big part of it, or rather one crucial part of it really. And so this video is essentially just uh, consider it an extension of yesterday's video. In case you weren't aware, my uh, channel, Take One Tech, I do all of my videos in one take. Uh, to be honest, with no real planning. <laughs> I just describe the apps that I'm using as if I was explaining them to a friend uh, and then I upload the videos and that is it. I don't do any editing, any post-processing or anything like that. Uh, but one of the downfalls of that is occasionally, <laughs> just occasionally, you realize you've just left something out and that is actually what happened now. So I'm going to put that right and I'm going to show you what I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about everything that Speedify does. That was covered in yesterday's video, which I've linked up in the top corner. But what I want to show you is something quite important, really, <laughs> because one of the things about Speedify, uh, what it actually does is it does combine all of your different uh, network connections together. So you can have multiple Wi-Fi, multiple uh, Ethernet, if you want, if you've got more than one Ethernet uh, connection, uh, and it combines those all together to give you the maximum speed and maximum performance. And as I say, has this fail safe. And one of the ones that I mentioned was about tethering to a mobile phone. In fact, I'll just come back while I tell you this, shall I? Instead of being stuck in that little window. One of the uh, use cases I mentioned, or one of the ways that I use it is I do have my uh, computer tethered to my mobile phone. Now, I should point out that I have got an unlimited data plan on my mobile phone, which can be tethered. And in Thailand here, that cost me about a uh, thousand baht. So what's that? Around about $35 a month, something like that is my mobile plan, which gives me all my mobile. And then also, as I say, unlimited, de uh, unlimited data that can be tethered to my computer. So what it means is I could actually just do everything on my computer on that data plan uh, and it wouldn't cost me any more. So you do have to be careful if you are going to add a mobile device to your computer as a fail safe backup, because if you have got data caps, for example, then you're going to want to be careful. If you don't have a data cap, but you just get charged by the amount of data you use, then definitely this is something to uh, be you know, very considerate of uh, when you're doing it or rather take into consideration uh, when you are, are setting this all up. That's the bit that I missed out because you can actually set all of these things up in Speedify. Uh, and so that is what I want to show you how to do uh, today. <laughs> so I think I've covered myself there, haven't I? I think I've given enough uh, sort of disclaimers and uh, apologies and things like that. So let's get straight into the Speedify app. Uh, you saw this probably on the video yesterday. So here is where we've got our different uh, settings and things like that. I showed you how we've got our different uh, stream saves, uh, stream emergency saves, uh, 28. The number of seamless failovers is now 33. So where it went from one connection to another seamlessly. Uh, the amount of data downloaded, uh, or transferred rather, uh, 17 gigabytes, top download speed, top upload speed, and so on. The crucial part that I didn't show you was for each of these Wi-Fi connections, not Wi-Fi, for each of these network connections, uh, you can click on each one and then you've got some more uh, things that you can do. So first of all, you can set the priority. Now the priority is basically, uh, as you might guess, it is how Speedify is going to prioritize your connection. If you're using Ethernet and you've got Wi-Fi as well, and maybe you've got your mobile as a second, uh, as another uh, uh, option so let's say you've got three different connections you would want to have your ethernet as your set as your primary you would then probably want to have your wi-fi set as your secondary now both these primary and secondary 
it will actually use those simultaneously um, but it's just showing you which one is the sort of the main one but you've also got this backup here as well and that basically is like as a fail safe it will resort to that if the others won't work but you can also set never so it will look at all the different connections you have on your computer and then use all of those that you've got available uh, for Speedify. So if maybe you do have tethering set up on your computer, but you just don't want to have it be ever used by Speedify, you can totally discount that from, uh, from being used here by clicking on this never. Um, or you may want it as just a fail safe, so you could click on the, uh, the backup. And it does obviously tell you about these here as well. Uh, so uh, this is basically primary, <laughs> always use this connection. Secondary is use this connection for speed boosts and failover, but less than the primary. So as I just mentioned, and the backup is only use this connection for a failover when no other is available uh, and does not uh, does not do bonding for speed. So it's least used. The never one is obviously don't use this connection. So that's basically as I just explained. <laughs> uh, the next thing down though is we've also got data caps. So if you do have a data limit on your uh, your phone or whatever service you are using, uh, then you can actually set these here as well. So if you've got multiple connections and there's, some of them do have limits, you can set either a daily data cap you can also set a monthly data cap and that's simply if you just come in here monthly data cap and then just click on the little toggle and then you can set the amount that you want and when it will reset sort of every 30 days or rolling or whatever you want to set that to. So uh, you can see obviously here you can just set the particular day of the month depending on when your billing cycle is and then here you can change the, uh, the amount of data you've got just by clicking on it like that. So that is how you say change the uh, monthly data cap. I'm just going to actually toggle that off before I forget because <laughs> I'm unlimited on everything fortunately. And the next thing is the over limit behavior. So when you hit that limit um, what you can do is you can actually set a uh, uh, either you can either stop using it so basically when you hit that data limit it's going to stop using uh, or you can have a uh, amount so basically you're going to change the basically throttle your your network basically so that is the way that you can uh, do that and again you can do that on a uh, case by case basis on each of your um, uh, uh, connections the other thing you can do is so that is on an over limit I forgot to turn off notifications there sorry if you heard that little email bong coming in <laughs> so that is basically the rate limit sort of on the the over limit behavior you can obviously just send it so that it stops using it so if it hits your limit then it just stops using the connection altogether you can also set a just general rate limit as well on that on a connection by connection basis uh, so that's the same thing you just toggle it on and then select the megabits per second so that might be something where you want to have for example if you're connected to a mobile uh, signal you do want to put a limit in that so that even though you may have some data available you don't want it to suddenly start bur burning through it at a really fast rate if you you know I don't know Dropbox kicks in or something like that so that is how you can set a specific rate on a device by device uh, basis basically so that is essentially <laughs> what needed to be covered which was not covered in the other one because it is quite crucial really you might want these different rates on different things and I should say as well that this works exactly the same on the mobile so uh, you will have seen from the video yesterday that uh, the mobile uh, interface actually looks pretty similar to that and I should also clarify that the mobile uh, application and this application on the desktop are completely separate they don't necessarily uh, or they they don't talk to each other so you can set up this one on your desktop and then you have the mobile one that you can set up on your mobile to optimize your connections there whether you're using your cellular data uh, you can also obviously use your wi-fi connections that you have and multiple wi-fi connections on your phone uh, the other thing that you can also do is uh, if you've got the um, uh, camera connection kit on a mobile uh, that also enables you to plug in other things and one of the things you can plug into that is an ethernet connector so using the little uh, dongle on the uh, the bottom of your phone or the little connector on the bottom of your phone you can actually plug an, an ethernet cable in so you could in theory have a mobile device that had a ethernet cable plugged into it also had cell cellular data and you could also be connected to multiple Wi-Fi connections as well and that would enable you to do that all <laughs> on the uh, on the phone have those all running through Speedify but they are as I say separate standalone applications between this and that they you get them all as part of your 
uh, Speedify subscription. Uh, but it's just that uh, to know that you can set those all up separately. And you don't have to worry that if you suddenly install Speedify on your mobile, then somehow that's going to start downloading data through you, or your computer is going to start downloading data through that. Uh, so I hope that that is clear as well. Well, I hope that that has uh, cleared up uh, any confusion, if any of you were confused. I know some of you were, so <laughs> I'm sorry about uh, not being uh, more clear about that. And uh, I'll try and uh, remember to cover everything in more detail next time. <laughs> so if you found this useful, <laughs> then uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You know where it is by now. I don't need to, uh, don't need to put on my little graphic. And uh, if you didn't catch the video yesterday, by the way, as I say, I will have linked to that at the beginning and I'll also put a link to it in the description as well. And uh, I'll leave some more great videos over on the right hand side. So don't forget to uh, check those out as well. And until the next time, have a great day. <laughs>